Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Greg. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Uh, Herman Cain holds a Herman Cain press conference. Uh, first of all, you all made fun of this woman, I guess, who's now alleging that Cain made her uncomfortable and then stiffed them with the wine. Uh, her name is Donna Donella. They, yes. She's actually one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No! Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't believe that for a second. No, it's true. <laughs> I, I, you know what? That's, that's, no. Yes. No. If I say it, it's true. That's my job on the show. All right. But um, she's also, she's not the one who was stiffed, right? She was the one who came out and said that he wanted to meet this other woman, right? But, but I think she was also the one who was, the who was stiffed with the bill at the yeah. dinner, yeah. Oh, oh, she yeah. was stuck with the bill, not the woman so. her, who... I think so. Her answer okay. people were, were stuck way, with the bill. People yeah. make a big thing. But that's not sexual harassment. No, it's though. not. It's not. Be no, being stuck worse. with wine is worse. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. It's actually, I'm not. One harassment. Uh, I think that, like, you can watch, like, somebody, when... I, somebody like Kane, it, you've seen this all the time. People that are in these high positions never pull out a wallet yeah. because they assume somebody else is taking care of it. They don't. It's, they don't think it's you. They think it's like we see it all the time. Really? <laughs> uh, Tucker, you asked if we could stop pretending that Kane is qualified for pre to be president. I yeah. don't think we can, at least for another couple of weeks or so. No, I think we're going to have to continue. And I like yeah. Kane, but I mean, come on. Let's Likeable just at guy. some point. Likeable yeah, guy. there's an election coming. Let's be real. Yep. What's his foreign policy? Uh, he's afraid China may be getting nuclear weapons. I think that's a valid concern. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, and I don't even mean this as a joke, other than the fact that he would let everyone in Gitmo go if it would bring one U.S. soldier home. I have no idea how, what his foreign policy is. Well, he is. doesn't either, so you're, you're oh, on the same okay. page so it's there. Okay, so it's not just me? No, it's not just okay. you. He never right. heard the term neoconservative. <laughs> I like that about him. Well, you're right. I mean, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Uh, Tucker, also, you said there's got to be someone better the Republicans can run. Okay, so who? Uh, it's, that's a tough question. Uh, I, obviously, it's Governor Gary Johnson of New Mexico. <laughs> I like to hear that. Thank you. I like to hear that. Uh, future red eye guest. Uh, hopefully, yes. I, I might so. add. But let's not, unless he cha watches this show and, and changes, changes his, his mind. mind. Yes. yes. So, Which has happened yeah. in the past. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I believe uh, boxer Ken Norton played Mandingo. Ah, I knew it was a boxer. <laughs> yeah. I remember his I, name was Mike. We're I talking think, about the Outback, right? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> I meant to yeah. yeah. Also, uh, James Mason and, and Greg, your favorite, Susan George, are in that movie. Oh, God, I love Susan George. Yeah. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. Yep. Also, uh, uh, Straw Dogs. Yep. One of the one of most underrated actresses of the 70s. Yes, but we're not going to talk about her anymore. Uh, PAB, you said it's a little weird that Kane says he never met uh, Bialik when there are witnesses who confirmed they hugged it at that event a couple months ago. To be fair, though, when, you, when you're working at an event like that, you can meet hundreds of people and even hug a whole bunch of them, and then five minutes after you leave, you have no idea what just happened. That, that is absolutely so. true. But it wasn't just a hug. Like, apparently, <laughs> she kind of, like, cornered him. Yeah. I wasn't there. But, but from what the woman yeah. said before, she was, like, even whispering more? So intensely. You are, so you but are, Andy? Even yes. more, yes. it was happening at a hugging convention. <laughs> so, 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 so really, a whole yeah. layer of confusion. It was a hugging and whispering convention. Yes, it actually, was. Yeah. And it was like hug a, it was hug a stranger night, yeah. which throws everybody into chaos. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Bill, the fact that Obama has gotten us out of Afghanistan and Iraq uh, is a pleasant surpl pr surprise to our thousands of troops who are in Afghanistan and Iraq. There's still, there's always going to be troops still there, but by where, where we were even a year ago compared to now, we're mm. out. Okay. And we're going to lose. Yay. Mm. How are we going to lose? Uh, Tucker, you said Kane hasn't answered the questions right and brought up, did he upgrade by Alex hotel room or didn't he as yeah. one of them? Well, he says he's never met her, so I would assume that encompasses no, he didn't do yeah, that. Yeah, maybe it did, um, but it's still, I mean, you have an off, look. Uh, there are an awful lot of women here. I'm not, you know, I give him the benefit of the doubt because I like him. I think he's a good right. person. Right. But I don't think we've answered the question. But that's not even the point. The point is, does he know enough about the world and the way government works to run the government? I do think also, Tucker, it's important to note that whether these women are telling the truth or not, we now have enough accusers to make a Herman centipede. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. A conga line, anyway. Nice. And we're back to Mandingo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay Lohan. Uh, first of all, kudos to our to our guy Tommy O'Connor for calling out Playboy for its hacky overuse of the girl in a tractor on the moonshot. Uh. You know, whenever you see that, you know it's a December issue. They always that. pull it out in December. Yeah. Uh, Larry, Larry, you said Obama was actually behind Lohan's quick release so she could True. do fundraisers for him. In fact, in 2008, she volunteered to get in fun, uh, in, involved in his. 
presidential campaign, uh, including she, she said she would host a number of events for young people. The campaign declined, saying she, quote, is not exactly the kind of high-profile star who would be a positive for us. Wow. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that they turned that yeah. down. Uh, you, you would never have guessed that. Yeah. 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 Uh, Tucker, you called yeah. Lindsay a nonviolent stoner, but as Greg alluded to, her original conviction was for driving under the influence a second time. Yes. Right. She sees it. Yeah, she shouldn't be driving, but I mean, yeah. I think it's you just know, take not her, a threat just for take her, her to just, just take her license. Yeah, to, to grab her license, get yeah. her a driver. Yeah. That's what I don't understand about rich people in L.A. Why are you driving? I'm, I, my guess is she ain't rich anymore. Oh, that's yeah. exactly it. I don't know. Yeah. It's a good question, Andy. Also, the worst drivers in L.A. are the people who are paid to drive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. That's the bus really drivers, the taxi point. drivers, yeah. horrible drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to get letters. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, they can't write. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. Occupy stuff. Uh, Greg, I, I can't even remember how badly you butchered the name of the owner of that Panini and Company. Oh, thank you for the by the by. <laughs> thank you for the in putting in the teleprompter, Ooh. not doing it phonetically. Anybody I, that whose name begins with a T and a C, you T have to like call, call somebody it's up and go. What's the phonetic? It's short sados. How do you even phoneticize that? It, it is actually, I think, exactly what it looks like. She does look like she's on the national tour of Rock of Ages, though. Did you notice that? Yeah, I find her quite yeah. attractive. Yeah. But anyway, needless to say, you should have phoneticized it yeah. in the prompter. I purposely didn't. I know you didn't. So I actually then you had could it, just beat I had me it up. in the script like three times. Somebody took it out a couple times. Really? I, we have fun like that. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, PAB, you said throwing urine and blood is disgusting. Where do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a prude. Just, we, this is not a judgmental show. We discuss the issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I was really overly sensitive on that one. Yeah. Uh, Larry, you said the difference between these protests and the ones in the 60s is that at least the 60s had better music. I think the problem is they have the same exact music now. <laughs> yeah, who was there today? You get Crosby and Nash, Nash. I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. If you, but if you play it backwards, it actually says Mayor Bloomberg is... Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, there was what it was Graham Nash, <laughs> David Crosby. Yeah. And Peter Yarrow has been down. I mean it's the yeah. usual suspects. Yeah. Uh, last but no young. Not, Neil Young hasn't been down there. Yeah. He's got too much class for that. Uh, Bill, lastly, you want to know if all this disgusting stuff, like the throwing urine, is coming from the, from the pure occupiers or from the homeless. But either way, it's 99%, man. Yeah, it's 99%, but some of them believe no. in the cause, and some of them no. don't even know they where they are. are. The 99%. I think, I think they you, are the 99%. I think it doesn't matter. You can't start saying it's us and them. It's the 99%, Bill. <laughs> when did I ever say that, Andrew? I'm saying they can't. They can't do that. Some of them have been saying that, some of them haven't. No. Nope, some the of them are going to D.C. They against the government. The, they're not the 98% or the 97% or even the 98.9%, Bill. They are the 99%. It's all of them. You annoy me 100%. <laughs> Actually, to use a canism, 200%. Back to you, Greg. All right. <laughs> Coming up, Zach Braff. <laughs> Braff? Braff. Braff. Zach Braff is dead. What? Set against the new Scrubs movie. And so is America, Zach. But first, should Bill Clinton run again? For president? No. Away from angry husbands? Yes. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Nice.